Alright guys, welcome back to Majin in the Forsaken Kingdom. This time we're going to be heading into our first boss fight. And uh, uh, this being the first boss fight, it's actually fairly simple. This, this guy's really not that difficult to defeat. So anyways, well, we're going to get uh, open this door and get started. There's going to be a few cutscenes that we'll be able to see. And um, we've collected all of the collectibles at this point in the game, so we're ready to head on in. stand before the kingdom's hero to be defeated yet again. You claim to be a hero in a place like this? The kingdom has been in ruins for centuries. In ruins? Perhaps you have holes for eyes, hmm? This kingdom has been reborn. Here, there is no poverty, no war, not even death. Before the king, we are all equals. It's wonderful, don't you think? You fancy yourself a poet or something? If you're a hero of the kingdom, protect its people! I have done my duty to protect my country's people. It is you, in fact, who are harming them. How many citizens have you harmed on your way here? How many helpless souls has the Guardian absorbed? Ask yourselves this! I, Capricorn, one of the four Dark Generals, will avenge my people and my country! This old cathedral shall become your grave. Okay, so this is uh, Capricorn, the first boss of the game. And as I told you before, we're going to be using the Wind Elemental abilities to um, defeat this guy. Now, what you'll see is like a chandelier that's uh, hanging there. You basically have to use this chandelier to knock the boss off the um, ceiling so he lands on the ground. The first thing you want to do though is you want to go to the left here where he's vulnerable and you can attack him. Just like what I'm doing right now. And as soon as you do that he'll start moving to a different location. And when he does that you want to go back and or you want to um, actually target the um, chandelier and hit with him and that'll knock him off. See? And then you want to jump down and attack his blind spot, his weak spot, which is the little uh, uh, red part on his head there. This boss is actually really easy. He has two stages. We're on the first stage right now. This guy's not that hard at all. There's other bosses that are a lot more annoying, but th this one I found to be pretty simple to defeat. So. And you want to climb back up and repeat that same process basically again. And this is the first of the four generals, and as you heard from the cutscene, there's four generals. Now you want to go back over to the other side. You don't want to um, hit that with. The, you want to go back to the other side, not that way, but the other side, where he is over there, on the other end. Right over here, and then you uh, start attacking him again, just like last time, except on this side you start attacking him. And then when he starts moving away, then you want to go back over to Teotl and uh, hit him again with the chandelier, knock him down. And I think it only takes uh, two times to do this, actually, and then you can actually kill him, or complete the first stage, I mean. I go Go after his uh, weak spot, which is the red part right there, the red uh, thing on his head, and that's it for the first stage.
Chaos will just body slam the hell out of that guy with that chandelier. Anyways, this is the second stage. Now you want to attack his feet, and you and you gotta remember this uh, stage. I mean, you can actually you're like right next to him, so he can attack you. So you want to try to dodge his attacks and keep Teyala healthy. If he runs low on health, you want to keep him healthy. Now, as soon as you attack his um, uh, legs, he'll stand up on one, or his leg will stand up like that. That's the point in which you want to uh, grab the. Um, Grab the chandelier and smash him in the face with it, and that's basically what this stage entails. Still pretty easy. So you want to use wind right now. When you use wind, it'll stun him. Now that he's stunned, now you can go um, pick up the chandelier with Teotl. Teyado will automatically go to the um, side of him and crush him. Or to his weak spot. And you just continue to do this process until uh, he's uh, completely finished. I'm surprised they made this boss so easy, you know. <laughs> but he is the first boss. Now he gets a little bit more aggressive. He starts stomping on you and stuff like that. So you gotta watch out for those moves. You gotta, you know, roll out of the way. And you want to keep attacking his, you know, feet to throw him off balance. Or his legs. I mean. As soon as he has one of his legs in the air like that, that's the time to do wind, and that'll stun him. That'll throw him off balance and stun him. I want to run away. And when Teatl gets low on health, you want to use a fruit, of course. So he doesn't die. See, right there is the perfect time to use wind, man. As soon as you do that, you just grab the um, chandelier again. I think it takes three of these before he's dead. Or it might just be two, I forget. This boss is actually pretty simple. There we go. It's going around. Smash. Bam. Yep, that's it, I think. Yep, that's it. Boss finished. senses I see you two have stopped me so who are you I'm my name is Capricorn I am the captain of the loyal guards of the king but I have failed to protect the kingdom and the king I am not worthy of that title I leave the rest to you two. Guardian and brave new hero. Wait, don't go! There are more things I need to ask! suffer for an instant. You will soon be thankful. Is this a part of your memory too? I remember. They arrive suddenly. I fight to save everyone. But it no good. Kingdom perished. Huh. He must have hated it, having to attack all those people. 
So the enemies that we've been slaying, they're humans, infected by the darkness. So as you just saw from that cutscene is uh, basically uh, the humans or all the darkness creatures that we've been fighting are actually once were once humans basically and something actually happened to them and infected them with uh, darkness powers and a lot of the, a lot of the bosses are like the high you know captains and and admirals or whatever you know and you'll be running into those enemies as you progress. Now that we've actually finished this boss fight, uh, one of the seals, one of the four seals on the castle has now been broken. So now we can actually head into the second world area, which is uh, in the Malawa Forest, and we'll be heading there uh, pretty soon. And the next video, that's what I'm primarily going to focus on, is uh, backtracking to that area. Well done! The guy you just defeated is known as one of the generals of the Dark Soldiers. Each general is protecting the entrance to the castle with their masks. The mask of the one you took down is broken. In other words, if you beat three more generals, you can get inside the castle! Don't let us down! So that mice pretty much just confirmed what I just said, basically. Um, the uh, Malawa Forest area is open. Now there's one area that we have not um, um, been able to uh, complete. And you might have seen it like at the very beginning of the game called Hamwe's Falls. It's the, it's the area that will take us into the second world area of the game. But we couldn't complete it before because the bridge was up. Now that we have the power of wind, we're able to finally complete that area. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. On the next video is... Um, I'm going to try to make it not as boring, but... Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of backtracking um, throughout the map, and we're going to be heading back to the Hamways Falls area. And at this point in the game, you should have all the collectibles for the first world area, and then we'll be heading into the next area. And as you can see, there's all the items, excavation ruins. The only area that you don't um, actually have is the Balam ruins, but we'll be coming to that, you know, much later in the game, or the Balam laboratory. Where we need to actually go is actually north of the forest checkpoint. There's actually a hidden area north of the forest checkpoint. And I didn't actually open it up in this map on this recording, but there's an area up there that's the Hamwe Falls, and that's how we get there. Anyways, um, that's it for uh, this video, and hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.